Welcome back to the channel and today I am in the Trailmakers uh, Airborne Expansion Campaign once again continuing on with my brand new airship which has all kinds of capabilities that were not possible in Trailmakers just last week. So in this episode I'm going to be going to that island over there which has the icon of another Chirpo which is presumably going to give me some quests to probably save uh, them and a bunch of other Chirpos because if you look closely you can see there's a bunch of enemy balloons around there and actually the enemy balloons over there are back now that i've respawned back in the, or reloaded back into the world uh before i take off is actually uh no there's actually a modification that i want to make to this vehicle uh based off of a comment i saw you can see that when i going up and down uh when i cut the balloons i kind of fall very quickly and it's very hard for me to uh, to just change my altitude very accurately. So a change I'm going to make is setting these center balloons here. I'm going to get rid of their controls and they are going to be always inflated. Wait, why aren't they inflated? I just set I just set your default position. Your initial inflation should be at one. All right, I'm gonna do a quick test here. If I put these on a button to inflate, then their inflation starts automatically. Interesting. So if they don't have controls for some reason, they just don't work at all. Well, in that case, let's give them a pointless control that I will never use like uh, the dash. So what this is going to do is just make my vehicle overall lighter. Uh, so then it takes less time for me to change my altitude. I don't have to make as drastic of a difference. So I should just be a little bit more stable. And then when I deflate, I shouldn't fall nearly as fast. Yeah, so I'm just going to be uh, much less prone to destroying myself unexpectedly. Well, I've saved all the chirpos on this island, so see you later, chirpos. I'm off to the next island. And actually, no, I'm not, because when I was editing my video last time, I noticed that on this island, there was a little, like, pocket or something that I missed underneath the island. I know you're on... There it is. There it is. Little bit of a treasure chest under here. At some point, I'm going to need to add reverse to this thing, but I just don't have enough power cores right now to add that many thrusters. That looks like a good island to stop over on the way there. All right, here we go. Another power core. Uh, however, we're about to enter. Oh, I just start shooting if I see the, uh, the target lock in. There we go. That was easy. So I've been seeing some comments saying that they're afraid that air battles are going to be like too easy now because of this lock on. But I don't think that's the case because I think it's going to make maneuverability uh, just actually a real factor like your maneuverability to be able to get out of their field of view is just going to be part of the air battles now as opposed to them just getting absolutely lucky and hit and hitting you with uh bullets so we'll have to find out though i'm going to be doing some multiplayer air battles at some point so make sure you guys are subscribed and don't miss that all right so oh this is weird i totally thought this person was on this island right here and now that I'm at this island, they are so far away still. How big is this air area? What? I think I just realized that this whole series of islands is this one village. Like, those chirpos live here. And that person lives not here, as you can clearly see. Well, if that's the case, I have some more looting to do here. I haven't been to half these islands. Wow, look at this series of islands. There's so many more islands than I thought there were gonna be. Oh, those look like they're going, they're actually not floating. They're going all the way down to the ground. All right, yeah, let's, let's not do that one yet. It looks like that's gonna be the next place I actually need to go. All right, hello, sheep. How do you get over here, by the way? How exactly do the sheep work? Um, how do they get from island to island? Ow. Yes. All right, here, let me just go into build mode now. I have six out of 10 power cores. Okay, so I have four power cores right now. Uh, so I am thinking of putting some reverse thrust. So now these are going to be on S. Right now, W and S is to go up and down, which is just unnatural to me. That was the default control of the inflatable balloon. But now I'm going to change the inflatable balloon controls. Oh, you know what's really useful for this? The new block input setting. Now I can see what my controls are. So inflatable balloons going up and down is no longer going to be W and S. Why was the gas mixture lowered there? That's interesting. Instead, I'm going to go shift to go up or maybe space to go up. No, I think shift and control is going to feel more natural to me. And then forward is obviously going to be W. So now I think... I should be able to control this thing a little bit more naturally. I just gotta actually get used to not using the controls I was just starting to get used to. 
So shift and control are going to go up and down. And now I can actually go forward and backwards and slow down. Slowing down is going to be so helpful for not crashing. Party balloon? That's new. That must just be like a trophy, like a new trophy or something. Hold on. Where is this? Oh, it's in weights? A small balloon with lift force. What? I wonder how much lift force it has compared to the 30 kilogram weight block. There is a really, really easy way to test this out right now. So I'm going to attach. Oh, that's bigger than I thought. I'm going to attach those together and let's see what happens. All right, 30 kilograms is definitely more than uh, what this balloon is lifting. So if I flip it sideways, I'm going to put two balloons. There we go. And now let's see. All right, so it is somewhere, uh, two balloons are more than 30 kilograms worth of lift force, but one balloon is less than 30 kil kilograms worth of lift force. So very precise test there. Okay, now I think I have gotten everything I needed from these islands. So it is finally time to go see how far is this person, this chirpo. They did call the chirpos people in the intro, just so you guys know. They said they were bird people. Bird people. So it is accurate. It is canon to call them a person. Oh, wait, is there land over here? What? This doesn't make any sense. There's a whole land in the clouds. The clouds were supposed to be above the land. Okay. Is this a sky? Is this like a giant skyland or is this surface land? I am very confused. I assumed we were going to go below the clouds at some point. I didn't think the land was just going to come up here. All right, trailer hinge. That seems kind of maybe putting balloons on trailer hinges could be kind of fun. Entering satellite desert. Danger level medium. Okay. Oh boy. So there is still a weird thing I'm trying to figure out. This chest right here, if you look at my compass, it does not show up on my compass, but there were other chests that did show up on my compass and I don't know why some do and why some don't yet. Racing wheel, that'll be good for a land vehicle. Uh, probably not on the sand though. Look at that bridge. All right, man, I wasn't expecting to actually uh, already be on the main, like the mainland. I'm calling it the mainland now. All right, man, this gun has a lot of range. I don't know what the range of the pirates are. They don't seem to be shooting back uh, for me in, so far. Uh, there we go, go-kart wheel. All right, we're just getting wheels now. I feel like they're trying to tell me something. See a bunch of roads? I've just gotten two different sets of wheels. Are they throwing hints in my face right now? To be honest, I kind of like the whole flying thing, especially with all these uh, pirate balloons around. Oh, here we go. <gasps> We're finally here. Oh, there's a treasure chest. All right, now I will repair. All right, whoa. Oh, now I know why they call it satellite desert. There's a satellite in this desert. It's right there, you see it? All right, a lot of solar panels. At least these guys are uh, going green. I see a treasure chest over here. Excuse me, Mayor, I'll be there in a second. I have just got some treasure to steal from your lovely town here. Spoilers. It's a spoiler. All right, let's see what Mayor Chirpo has to say. Well, well, it's the trail maker. That is me. My name is Farah. I'm the mayor, I figured. Terry said some great things about you. How are you guys communicating? How, how are the Chirpos communicating here? Well, I mean, there's a satellite dish. We could really use someone like you, but the satellite dish does not look like it is capable of communications. The pirates are everywhere. I can see that. How am I gonna restore the old satellite dish when all my coworkers have been kidnapped? All right, confirmed satellite dish not working. I do see some loot on the satellite dish though. Rescue the chirpos. Mission started. This is a bit embarrassing. What, you lost your chirpos? My engineers were surveying the satellite dish. Oh, there they are. But they forgot to bring a ladder. Now they're stuck. All right, how many seats do we need? I've got eight seats on this bad boy. This bad boy can fit so many chirpos in it. All right, guys, I'm sorry you, wait, if you forgot your ladder, oh, I see, they crash landed. I was like, how did they get up there in the first place? But there is a plane that has crash landed, clearly. I feel like taking planes to these things is not the chirpos best strategy. All right, and this is a raw engine. Okay, we're getting there in the land vehicle capabilities. All right, it looks like there are eight chirpos here. Well, what a coincidence. I happen to have eight seats. Hop on in, chirpos. Impressive construction, thank you. Terry helped me out. 
You sure it can get us back home? Yeah, you're like literally right next door. It's a flying vehicle. I thought they would have uh, more confidence in me after what they've heard from Terry, apparently. He's been talking about me behind my back. All right, here's your chirpos. I came here to save the day. Suspension spring unlocked. Okay, another land vehicle. There we go, the dragon engine. That is gonna be very useful. New seat unlocked as well. Blueprint available, fa a variable. <laughs> available, Farah's racer. Start enemy hunt? Ooh, that sounds fun. The chase, shoot down the pirate speeder? Oh, <gasps> a pirate speeder has taken off with my scientists. It's zigzagging around the desert. You need to shoot it down to free the chirpos. This seems fun. All right, so I think I'm gonna need a land vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna, this is, I can, I think I can take the reins from here. A land vehicle isn't gonna be too bad. I wanna build my own. I appreciate your racer, Farah, but uh, I think I got this. Vehicle seat with fortified roll cage. That actually might be more important now. A light seat with a light seat with very little protection. So now that we're actually gonna be doing some more combat stuff where we're gonna be getting hit with more bullets, it actually seems like these two seats are gonna make a huge difference in our vehicle's durability. So I'm gonna go with the seat that says it is fortified with a roll cage. Unfortunately, my aerodynamic blocks are not the best. Um, I, I really would like some four by one, some more slopey wedges, but I think I can handle what the game is gonna give me right now. So I am probably going to do the off-road wheels just because we have, we have pavement, but we also have a lot of desert here. And in case this racer is going off-road, I want to be able to follow it off-road for sure. All right, I'm going with a six-wheel design here, and I have my smart cannon right up on the front. All right, how does this thing feel for controllability so far? I have a spoiler in the back. Uh, I have a decent... I think I have a decent amount of speed. Yeah, look at that. This is going to be so good to have the, be the ability to lock on with your car because then the bumps aren't going to make your bullets go into the ground anymore. His speeder is a hovercraft. It's like a pod racer. All right, you know what? Let's just go after him. I think I got all the things I need on this. Where is this going? Am I going to die right now? I was just about to die. I was totally about to die. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, will you be doing the balloons? The balloons are shooting at me too. What is this? I'm taking them out from the ground. I totally didn't even consider that the balloons were a threat to me on the ground. All right, let's repair a little bit. There we go. Oh, this is interesting. Is it because I'm in a mission now that um, my repair actually has a cooldown? I thought in my previous testing, the repair only had a cooldown when I was in the sky, but now it has a cooldown on the ground too. It might be because I'm in a ground-based mission. Oh, this terrain. Look at this terrain. This is crazy. All right, uh, let's get this speeder. We got to cut it off. Cut it off at the pass. I got to check the skies now as well for any... Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, this is bad. Suspension, help me. The suspension did help me. Oh, it just sped up. Come on. It's leaving bombs behind. Oh. Proximity mines? There we go. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. Okay, look at the accuracy. So, it helps. It's not 100%, especially when the when the speed varies. Oh, no, I can't even aim at that because I'm not facing it. All right, now we're actually starting to see some of the uh, limitations of the auto aim. It is a hell, oh, how do I? I wonder if there's a way for me to swap targets. I, I haven't seen anything about that. This is actually really difficult now. All right, come on. Oh, it's speeding. I'm getting hit. This is crazy. This is so intense. Come on. I'm assuming that the uh, the aim locks on. Oh, no. Did I just get bombed at? It is leading me to all of the airships. Uh oh, my suspension. Uh oh, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. I honestly don't know if I'm going to survive. Look at the damage. One of my suspensions is extremely damaged. If that thing gets hit one more time, I'm gonna lose a wheel. I might fail. I actually might fail this. Oh man, this is a difficult uh, bomb to avoid. Oh, I almost tail spun into it. Come on. Oh no! Wait, I can repair. I forgot. I have the ability to repair. Wait, that one didn't have a cooldown. Why? Come on, there we go. Okay, yeah, see? Oh, oh, 
So if you have a good enough a distance away from the auto lock, if you change direction after the bullet already gets released, it can't follow you. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! All right, repair. Wait, that didn't. Repairing didn't. No, no, I'm getting shot at. Repair. There we go. All right, let's avoid the bombs. This speeder challenge is way harder than I was expecting it to be. All right. Whoa, I gotta stop going on top of the dunes at full speed. Oh, that felt so good and bad at the same time. The destruction has been vastly improved in this campaign. It is so much more satisfying. All right, I really, I'm, I'm losing this speeder. Oh, this is gonna happen again, isn't it? Uh, gentle. Oh, that wasn't as bad. All right, here we go. Man, look at it. It's, when I get close, it just boosts. I should have put thrusters. Oh, what am I doing? I should have put thrusters on my vehicle for an extra boost. Oh, I can shoot the bomb. I didn't know that. Oh, what, what's wrong with my vehicle? What happened? What happened here? I was doing okay, and now I'm not. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at it track. That's nice. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna get shot at now. Ow, 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 ow. Definitely took some damage there. Okay. So, I hit my... I hit, you hit my dashboard toaster oven? Oh, no. Now, how is he gonna... How is he gonna heat up his food on the road? Ow. My tires are popped. This is... Ah, I just ran into the bomb because I was distracted by my tires. Okay, I repaired and I'm already damaged. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. All right, let's just start. Oh, he popped my tires. You're popping my tires. This is awesome. Well, you're awfully close to the ground. You are not using your strengths to your advantage at all. You are an airship, and that one's shooting explosives at me. It's a red one. Oh, no, no, no. See, if I change directions, I'm fine. All right, let's start taking out some of the airships. This, uh, this speeder has way more health than I expected. I thought he was going to be like an airship. Just fire a barrage, and they're done. All right, there we go. Okay, that my gun had a decent amount of angle, more than I was expecting, but it wasn't enough to take it out. Oh, you just popped two of my tires. No! Dang it! All right, repair. This is such a hard, not, I mean, it's not necessarily hard. It's just, uh, it's a lengthy encounter. This guy just, it, it, a, I underestimated the abilities of the speeder, and I overestimated the abilities of my vehicle as I keep flipping over. All right, let's take this guy out before I go down this hill. There we go. One less person shooting at us. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm doing. Going to do a lot of damage. Oh, he just he sped up so quick. I did it. I think I shot his bomb as he dropped it. We're going down. Where are you going? Which way? Take out this pirate before it's too late. All right. Oh no, I need, how many seats am I gonna need? Is this eight? Oh, there's an easy solution to this. Transform into airship mode. This will actually be much easier to just get back to, uh, get back to the home base. Yes, I am sure it can get us back home. I've just taken eight more of your other people back home. All right, well, there's a power core here. So we are gonna go back home, okay? I promise we're gonna go back home. I can do this. Just because I'm not going straight there doesn't mean I can't do it, okay? All right, we're going down. And look at that. That was actually not too bad of a landing. A rotating servo unlocked. That's gonna be great. All right, another rescue mission. Now what happened? It seems like my engineers have made another mistake. You've got to reconsider who you're hiring. This time they've crashed two of our airplanes into each other. Oh no. Total miscalculation. Well, don't send the... Okay. Could you pick them up before the pirates find them? See, that's your... That, I already know what the problem was. Uh, you needed to hire pilots, not engineers. If you had pilots, they may not have crashed the planes into each other and crashed the other plane into the satellite. Did I, I didn't get this power core yet, did I? Well, I'm gonna go get it right now. Okay, apparently I'm gonna miss it, and then I'm gonna turn around, and then I'm gonna go get it again, wasting some time. I'm a professional. Professional time waster, haha. -ha. All right, and I'm gonna go get this treasure chest. Oh, that was kind of smooth. There is a lot of pirates over here. I don't know if 
bad to where I want to be right now. So I'm not going to be there. Let's just steer clear of there. Oh, there's a big red pirate balloon by these chirpos. There's just planes flying around having a good old time. There we go. All right. Look at that. Like the pirates are so easy compared to that speeder. I wonder how the planes are going to be. They look kind of scary. And there's that big ominous red uh, dome. I got to be careful here. Uh oh, that... That's not being careful. Let's not hit the ground anymore. You know what? I think maybe if I go high enough. Oh, he's aiming at me. Oh, hold on. Change direction. Change direction. Go down. Go down below the fire. Ow, ow, ow. They exploded near me. Okay, I got to change direction. Ah, uh, no. Why does my camera shift like that? All right, go down. Go down behind the mountains. Get cover. Okay, I got cover. Ooh, okay, things have gotten more difficult because they're like, th this is not an agile creation and you can see the weakness in that because they have the ability to uh, lead the target and predict where I'm going to be as they fire, which makes it really, really difficult for me to dodge them if I can't change my direction fast enough. Like, see, look, he's like firing right up. Oh, uh, are these some kind of like, do they just explode near me? I did not realize how much health he has. So I'm going to go ahead and turn around now. Um, and wonder what I'm doing with my life. All right. I got to repair. Go, 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 go. My, now my repair is on a cooldown. Ah, why does it keep reversing my camera? Don't do that. Okay. All right. All right. I'm back behind cover. If I can get close enough behind cover and then just pop out, uh, fire some shots and then come back down. Maybe I'll have a chance. Okay, I got another idea too. Let me just finish killing that one. I need more firepower. I only have, I'm only using one cannon. I can put more cannons on here. All right, let's go into build mode. How many power cores? I have 10 out of 13 power cores. All right, there we go. I've doubled my firepower up in the front. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, I, I, it was enough to kill the other guy. I didn't realize there was another closer one. Man, those things, they just explode near me. Are we going to get something like that? All right, hold on. My center of lift is a little bit too far back right now. Yeah, much more aligned. All right, Chirpos. This red guy is not going to know what hit him for about one second. And he's going to realize, hey, is that guy over the ridge? Lock on, please. There we go. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. There's some damage to me. <laughs> Man, that is powerful, but if I go back down to the ground, I can repair. So I just got to not die because I think if he destroys me enough, I could die and then I'll have to respawn somewhere. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Wow. The explosion radius on these things is crazy. I do have the like I have unlimited repairs when I'm close to the ground. So this is actually a good strategy. All right, I'm just gonna try to take a couple of, I'm just gonna cut it, just shoot as much as I can. All right, and there we go. Oh, <gasps> I thought I died because the camera did the thing again. I wonder if that's like, if that's intentional or a bug. I, I prefer not to have the camera start shifting directions randomly. I wasted a lot of my barrage there, but he's almost dead. I think I can survive this and kill him. Man, the, the explosions, I think I killed him. But yeah, the explosions are actually enough to push me down. Like, I'm not trying to go down. It's the actual force of the explosion pushing me down towards the ground, which is interesting. All right, one more. Oh, two more left. I'll get both of these guys before I go rescue them. Having two guns. Man, this is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It takes them out so quickly. All right. How many chirpos? Is there going to be another eight? Better not be more than eight. I feel like eight's going to be the standard now. Why is there a plane shadow over here? Please do not. I am not a plane. I am not prepared for uh, plane battles right now. All right, there you go, guys. Hop on in. All right, now I just got to get the chirpos back. Oh, there's a power core over there. Anything else? Any other loot over here? I see a treasure chest, like gold. All right, with this power core, I can actually add a third gun if I wanted to. I could add a rear-facing gun. There we go, another power core. All right, off we go. Back to satellite station or whatever it's called. All right, y'all get any more chirpos? This was a tough, this was a very, very difficult island or area compared to the last one. The last one I just had, oh, minigun unlocked. 
Do you have time to help me out? You still have more quests? All right, first, let me check out the mini gun though. So just for reference, here's what these guns look like. That looks pretty good to me. So they say ballistic projectiles and auto aims at your target when in range. This is four power cores. Quickly fires many ballistic projectiles and slightly auto aims at your target when in range. So there's different strengths of auto aim. So these are two power cores for total for two cannons. Let's see what, whoa, that's big. Let's see what one of these feels like. Okay, that is way more projectiles. I'm giving this thing a try. I wonder how the auto aim is gonna feel though in comparison. All right, I have time to help you out. What are we doing? Balloon popping. Oh, this is that whole area of balloons for sure. The pirates have shot down our airplane. Ooh. The crew is completely pinned down on a nearby island. Take care of the pirate balloons before you pick up the chirpos. Does it have to be before? They don't wanna be part of the action? All right, I'm off. Yeah, of course, they're in the middle of all of these pirate balloons over here. Wow. This is such a good gun for these guys. But yeah, it uh, the range is definitely less, for sure. Uh oh uh oh Come on. Ooh, that was kind of close. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit more difficult. But man, it is so much stronger of a weapon. All right, I think that I think I took care of all of them. All right, let's prepare. All right, just 80 you guys again. Thank goodness. One day there's gonna be like one extra guy, one extra chirpo, and uh, it's gonna ruin my whole design. All right, let's get this treasure chest though. What is this gonna be? Raw jet for an airplane or for a booster for a land vehicle. All right, let's take them back. I wonder if this is the final mission for the satellite desert. If I, if these are the final chirpos that were missing and I brought them all back now. All right, here you go. Outstanding job, my friend. We will trust you with our slice of the ancient weapon. Oh, that's right, I almost forgot. I'm trying to assemble an ancient weapon. Now, back to restoring this interesting old satellite dish. Okay, but why? Who are you trying to communicate to? Are you trying to get off this island? Oh, I just noticed there's a, there's a thing. Moderately good aerodynamics, that's what I'm talking about. That was a pretty hairy situation right there. There is a power core on top of this. Here we go. Yeah, oh, one of my balloons fell off somehow, even though I hit the bottom of my vehicle. All right, so I have vastly improved my airship with a mini gun, um, and I've improved the balance of it and some of the aiming of it. I have saved this town and restored all of the chirpos. And I now have 18 power cores to use. Uh, so I can't wait to get like dragon jet engines and start building planes. So I can probably add some like uh, some of these smart cannons so I can have some uh, stronger lock on when my minigun isn't quite in range yet. But uh, we're gonna save that for the next episode when I go off in that direction and meet the mayor of whatever that town's gonna be. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. This uh, expansion will be available to everybody on the 27th. So definitely make sure you keep an eye out if you're interested in playing this yourself as well. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the end screen right here, uh, including the first video of this campaign mode, if you haven't seen that yet. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.